and this is quite a familiar picture to us so we have often seen you may have seen in the deep forest where this like a tumor like structures are seen from the trees in, in the trees this is a, an agrobacterium infection an agrobacterium genus in film that is a soil microbe that is present in the soils and that causes the infection to the fungus crown gall also called as crown gall disease it causes infection to the wounded plant so by any means of plant is has wound it it secretes a chemical so known as especially in the extension that chemical the agrobacterium causes infection it incorporates dna into the plant cell and causes such infection it is a very uh, common disease in plants and uh, how does uh, an agrobacterium cause infection in the host plant cell the main factor responsible for uh, causing infection in the host plant cell is the ti plasma the ti plasma present in the agrobacterium the this ti plasma present in the agrobacterium incorporates the dna into the host cell and causes the tumor what are the main components responsible for the tumor the main components responsible for the tumor are auxin and cytokine auxin and cytokine are the tumor responsible genes these causes this induction of tumor in the plant cells like along with the auxin and cytokine is also opine opine is found in this figure opine that synthesizing genes are also incorporated into the host cells this opine are not utilized by the plant instead the opine are is necessary for the ti plasma for the agrobacterium for its own survival this is why it synthesizes the opine in, in the host cells but host cells cannot utilize them and it has its own opine catabolism region opine catabolism region is opine catabolism region catabolizes the uh, opine synthesized in the host cells and survives and multiplies so this is the these are the major genes responsible for and in order to transfer this ti plasma into the host cells and everywhere can get in, in, uh, for the infection to the plant cell this needs to incorporate this dna and this dna is incorporated into the host cell with the help of virulence gene virulence region the genes coding they are also known as z regions or virulence region genes so e in order to incorporate the dna the genes are uh, proteins so called synthesized by this virulence region genes are responsible for synthesis of for transformation of the dna the only uh, we have what do we have to keep in consideration that only the region in this uh, the t dna region only the t dna region are, uh, is uh, uh, in incorporated into the host cell not all the region and the t dna region any 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 genes or any um, any genes uh, remaining inside this left border and right border this um, region between the left border and right border is termed as a t dna region and only the genes present within this left border and right border are transferred into the host cells okay and okay now um, as you all see in the in the ti plasma uh, this original now what are the virulence what is the virulence region i have uh, already discussed that virulence region genes are responsible for the transformation of the t dna region into the host cell what is the virulence region the virulence region consists of 11 sets of genes from read a to read h Okay, read A. Read A is the first gene that is activated. Means when a uh, when a plant is wounded, it secret it in uh, secret acid base in there and agrobacterium cells. It's the sensory sensory protein is a, a read A. Okay, so that's read A. So when it enters its cells, it's a read acid base in there. It it autokinase itself. It acti it gets itself activated as well as it activates read G. <laughs> VSG also gets activated, and after the activation of the VSG, the or uh, the VSG, it, it forms a dimer, and it further it activates all the entire VSG. These um, regions are the VSG. First, VSG gets activated, VSG uh, activates, and it phosphorylates VSG, and uh, on the activation of the VSG, rest of all the genes get activated. So this is the most basic uh, requirement for uh, the activation, and we uh, will discuss each uh, functions of each. each Each genes code different kind of proteins and they are responsible for different functions. Like as shown here, read B, read B is responsible. Read B along with read B4, read B along with read B4 is responsible for forming a tube in order to transfer the uh, these uh, the gene of interest into the host cells. And the read F3 is uh, uh, for all is the most required. And read C acts as a helicase, means in order to transfer we have to cleave the DNA and read C. VC acts as a helicase that helps in unwinding of the DNA. VB, VB has two components, VB1 and VB2, that helps in cleaving the, uh, making a mix and uh, 
so as for recording of this, there is why Jim Cartman and V and V as V E and V V V as a single strand binding protein that helps in uh, binding the release single strand of the genus of genes and keep it stabilized, stabilized and finally V as V as the fun its function is not the epinon still V as is considered to V as is considered to uh, ha have help in proteolysis activity to secure the protein that is from the proteolysis activity and VH VH is uh, responsible for detoxifying the proteins or detoxifying the genes secreted by the host plant cells to uh, in the site of infection so these are the basic uh, genes coding and the proteins and the function now as I already said, I will just uh, result uh, in the figure only. What I did is, BD1 and BD2 first uh, attach to the right border region, and BD2 cleaves. Uh, it causes an in it has an indentured activity and it cleaves at the right border sequence and releases releases the single strand of that is genus interest. As the new DNA sequence occurs, the DNA gets separated, and the DNA separated DNA DNA gets separated. And the separated DNA is uh, incorporated by the single strand binding protein that VE2. I had already discussed about VE2. It is all been bound by VE2 and VD2 at the tip. Now, as the newly strand, newly synthesized strand gets uh, synthesized, newly synthesized strand elongates, the single stranded, uh, this single strand gets removed, and we have the single strand tDNA copy. Now, this single stranded tDNA copy is what is transferred into the host cells and these entire and incorporated into this consists of this all the oxygen cytokines opine and cytokines and this when we uh, reaches inside the host cells it causes it causes tumor as well as opines now in the totality what we have discussed okay now this is all we have discussed till now now this is all a summary so let's begin with the infection first number one wounded plants uh, produces exotosterenzone. This exotosterenzone is a chemical that is sensed by the agrobacterium and that activates the V regions. V regions, I have said VA. VA first senses the exotosterenzone, it activates the VG regions and then VG regions further activates the entire uh, V protein. And those V proteins are uh, after uh, this, they get synthesized. And the after synthesized synthesis, they release T single standard tDNA. The single standard tDNA strand is synthesized. When they get it gets synthesized, this is uh, transferred into the host cells where the you know, there is again these proteins and when they get transferred into the host cells, they get incorporated into the host cells and in the expression of the host cell genes, uh, they also express the uh, uh, agrobacterium tDNA T genes, tDNA genes. genes and synthesizes the oxygen cytokines and opines and after oxygen in among them the oxygen and cytokines are responsible for causing the tumor only oxygen and cytokines cause the tumor while the opines as i have already said can be catabolized by the host cells and it is it returned back to the agrobacterium and it helps in the multiplication of the agrobacterium the agrobacterium keeps on surviving and multiplying with the help of opine and it also causes the tumor or crown gall disease in that plant that can that was visualized in the slide before so this is the simple mechanism of how an agrobacterium